Hey, folks. Tumbleweed Theater. Film Brown coming at you. Right out here in the bunkhouse. You know what we do when we get bored? You know, we spend the day out there doing a little bit of research on westerns and things like that, and then we come on back here to the bunkhouse and we watch them. And this happens to be one of our favorites. It stars two of our favorite guys. John Wayne, of course. This is one of those Lone Star films. It's one of those films that come out of 1934. It's got old Robert Bradbury, one of the great directors of these early films. 1934 is a really a good time for him. This is a film called Star Packer. Now, you might hear people use that term Star Packer in other westerns. What that basically means is a man who is packing a badge. Okay, he's a lawman. And in this case, this is the, uh, what we've got going with John Wayne. And he's got a little bit of a sidekick with him. Who's a, this is the second guy that we really admire a lot out here in, on the range. Yakima Canut. Yakima Canut, one of the great stuntmen of all time. He was John Wayne's stuntman through all of these years. He also played a lot of heavies, a lot of uh, villains. Let's bring us a picture up of Yakima. People call him Yak. We'd like to think that we're on that kind of relationship with this guy as well. We, we'd like to call him Yak. Matter of fact, he plays a character in this Star Packer film who's called Yak. That's his name. He's an Indian. You'll see him at the very beginning, canoeing down uh, the, the river there, and John Wayne just kind of helps him carry his canoe, and uh, that's Yak. Now, take a look at that face. There's a guy who actually could have been a lead, okay? But about with a severe uh, flu, is what I was reading, what destroyed his voice. And he does have a kind of a, uh, a voice that maybe would not work well uh, for a lead. Now, here's a guy who came out of the Tom Mix tradition as well. Uh, he, a uh, bit like Sunset Carson, remember, we talked about him a little bit, you know, how he ran into Tom Mix, and Tom Mix got him involved with doing some uh, rodeo work and things. Yak, same. His real name was Enos, okay, and uh, he got the name Yakima from a town that he was doing some rodeo work in. So it's not his real name. Of course, he'll uh, take that on as his screen name any day. That's a great name, Yak. Uh, this film also stars George Hayes, Gabby Hayes. And he plays one of those dual roles type of thing again. You know, this is prior to the Gabby Hayes uh, sidekick days. He plays the villain in this film again. He plays Matt Matlock. Now, he's not a lawyer or anything like that, but he plays Matt Matlock. And he also plays The Shadow. That's cool. The Shadow. And uh, you'll see him kind of moving around in this film uh, quite a bit. Uh, another interesting fella in this film, Eddie Parker Jr., now, at this time, he wasn't going by Junior. He goes to Junior later, uh, but he's Eddie Parker. And Eddie Parker is uh, one of those great stuntmen uh, in the Westerns, uh, doing a lot of stunt work right along with Yak. Okay? And together, they well, develop some of the great stunts that we think on. And we've already talked in, a, in another video about some of the stunts that Yak was known for. Some key stunts that you might see him in other films performing, uh, things like uh, you've ever seen where the, uh, the, 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 the cowboy rides his horse off a cliff and it dives into the water. That's a yak stunt. Likewise, yak was known for being able to spring up onto a horse from behind. What a great stunt. That stunt was a yak trademark. And most often you'll see that. Uh, that's not Wayne doing that. That's Yak doing that. You can tell Yak, again, by that trademark, a little bit of a balding spot on the back of his head. Uh, that's Yak. Likewise, he's a lot of stagecoach type of tricks. Like the stagecoach riding over you, you grab a hold of it, and then you pull yourself up onto it, and you, you do your bit. That's a Yak trademark. Other folks working on this film besides Robert Bradbury, uh, that team that we have talked about before, Archie Stout doing the camera work on this, and Carl Pearson doing the editing, and likewise, Paul Malvern, he was the producer of all of these Lone Star films. I think you're going to enjoy this movie. I really do. Uh, again, Yak, wonderful man. We're very uh, always impressed when a Yak is able to do his, his stunt work. He had to retire from stunt work himself after a severe injury, and he went on to do a lot of second unit directing and uh, things like that. He uh, was uh, instrumental in a lot of the chariot work in Ben-Hur. And uh, he won a special Academy Award uh, as well for his stunt contributions. Well, 
Think you're going to have fun with this film? Uh, I sure did. I think Star Packer, what a great name, Star Packer, uh, is great. And again, if I were ever in a Western time machine and I was able to go back and say, I want to make a film and could I choose a director of my, my own if I couldn't have John Ford, I might say, let's have Robert Bradbury. He seems to really know his way around a horse. Roll him, Smokey. <laughs>